everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make carne asada from the Instant Pot. And guess what? I'm actually going to do this on Taco Tuesday. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now I'm making this as easy as possible like always from the Instant Pot. So all we need are just the main ingredients to make this flavorful enough to make it taste like carne asada from the Instant Pot. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice up my onions. Notice that I am only doing one half of the onion and I'm going to use the other half of the onion to sprinkle on top later to garnish with or to eat with just to have raw onions with cilantro toward the end. But like I said, dice up your onions first, your one half of the onion first and we're going to throw this into the Instant Pot with all of our meats and everything else when it's time. And the next thing we need to do is just mince up one piece of garlic. That's it, one clove of garlic. So you saw me smash it down to help uh, peel the skin off of it really easily. And then cut this up until it's nicely minced and then we are done with this. These are the only two vegetables that we need in our Instant Pot with our beef. So we're done with this and let's grab our Instant Pot. Go ahead and press your saute button to start and add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. If you use beef stew meat like I did. It's already pretty much cut up for you so it's a lot easier. Mine was a little bit frozen and I wanted to be able to thaw it out just so it bends and I can put it all inside of the pot all at once. So I did uh, thaw it out for about I think five minutes in the microwave. Otherwise I don't think I would have been able to make it fit in there. So all I've done is throw my beef in there and then go grab your veggies that we just diced and minced up and we're just going to throw that right into the pot as well. Now that everything is inside the pot, I'm just gonna grab a pair of tongs and I'm gonna try to break up the meat a little bit more as, as much as I can at least and try to get it to cook a little bit. As you can see, it's really pretty frozen still. I had a hard time trying to get it to all break to pieces and these are already cut up. Continue to let this cook on each side and let it brown. If you wanna make your taco a little bit more spicy, add some chili powder into it. I'm going to omit that part and then I'm just going to add cumin right into the Instant Pot. Grab one lime, roll it to release some of the juices, cut it right in half and then squeeze the juice right into your pot. You can add another lime if you'd like but I think one is fine or at least this was juicy enough for me to see that I only needed the one lime. Now I'm just going to grab my tongs and I'm going to try to mix up the cumin with the lime, all the flavors in there and try to break up some of the meat pieces as I'm doing this because it's just again still frozen, very much frozen and I'm trying to saute and get all the flavors into each piece of meat. Obviously if your beef isn't frozen like mine, this will go a lot faster but this is what happened for me. Now grab your beef broth, mine was in the fridge and it kind of gelled up like this but it dissolves really quickly as you can see this is not time lapse at all so that went really fast give this all a very good mix as well and then we're done and I don't mean done like the food's done cooking I mean we're done as in what's going inside of the instant pot itself so just grab your lid make sure you close it lock it up and then press it well turn the knob to seal and then we're just going to pressure cook this for 10 minutes that's it Dinners are so fast that even while that was cooking, I wasn't even done prepping everything. So again, now that it's done cooking, move your knob over to vent. Carefully open the lid away from you so you don't have any of that steam releasing on you. And this is how it turned out. It's nice, moist, and juicy, and the flavor was really good on this. If you want to, grab a pair of scissors and just start cutting up the beef pieces into smaller chunks if you'd like, or if you'd like it in this size, use it just like this as well. This dinner came together so quickly and my family absolutely loved it. So for an easy Taco Tuesday, if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.